Hey guys, D Mike here from another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. This episode is jam packed. Just gonna go ahead and say it. We've got five fruit left to get in the Garden of Hope, and we're gonna do that today. We're gonna 100% this area, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of a doozy. Be a bit of a doozy. So we've got. The Pikmin that we grew last time. So we're gonna go ahead and put them back. Except for the blues. We're gonna get a bunch of blues out right now. We're gonna get some reds out. And we are going to get some pinks out. So you'll see kind of exactly what's supposed to be happening now. I'm gonna use all three of the captains to go do this right this moment. So first things first, we're gonna head over to the spicy spray berry area. Spicy spray berry area. That sounds it's got a good ring to it, I suppose. We're going to be using our red Pikmin to collect us some spicy spray. And in doing so, they will they will be able to kind of manage that as their role today. We will send them to do that. And then with the remaining captain, which is all of them, I don't know why I said remaining because they're not doing anything. It's just the red Pikmin for now. We're going to do the two captain pot trick. We're going to get... Charlie and Brittany very high on this pot. And we're going to send our blue Pikmin here. And they are going to serve a very specific purpose. So it doesn't really matter which one you choose. You're just going to want to throw your remaining blues over here. And, you know, technically speaking, it doesn't matter which of your captains you choose to do this. But I like blues just for the safety of knowing that they're not going to drown. So just be careful with that. This area here is where the remaining pieces of the bridge will be. I almost said pu I almost said puzzle pieces, but I did not this time, so technically you cannot hold that against me. I did not say it. So we will swing around here. I don't know why I'm rotating the camera like a madman. I mean, maybe I just am. It's just what you do in your epic. So we've got Brittany now. The Pikmin will be carrying the bridge pieces. We're going to have Charlie head back to the Drake. We have a lot to do and not a ton of time, so... I'm trying to be mindful of getting all of this done. I don't know where the Drake is because I'm being all willy-nilly. So Alf, the pink Pikmin have unearthed a plum, so they will take that back to the Drake. We'll send Alf back to the Drake too. This is just kind of a an episode that's a little kind of willy-nilly with what we're trying to do. But that's okay, we're having fun. And we're gonna wanna get some yellows and we're gonna wanna get some pinks. This episode is just kind of all over the place, so you'll have to bear with me. There is a whole lot to do and not a lot of time, and I've sort of rehearsed how to do this in the best way, but like not exactly. So just, you know, bear with me for a second. First things first, we're going to use one of those spicy sprays. We're going to use one of those spicy sprays. We're going to supercharge our yellows. Nope. We're going to supercharge our yellows to kill these fiery blowhogs. Cause there aren't very many of them, so we're gonna call them back. Nope, do not set our, po our Pokemon, our Pikmin on fire. Not, don't set your Pokemon on fire either. I mean, realistically speaking, you don't want that either. So we're just using these yellows to take down the fire blowhog. The yellows will then spend the remaining, you know, moments being incredibly high. Okay, so it looks like the bridge is almost built. That's very good. Okay. So now we can use some winged Pikmin. We can get some blues out. We're going to send Alf on another part of the quest where we're going to be wanting to he head up with Charlie, actually at this point, to collect the remainder. So that's what we're gonna do. The bridge has been built. The blue Pikmin have done their duty. And we will have everybody meet up at the Drake. So that's very, well, not at the Drake, at the access point here. So we're doing great. I'm hitting the wrong button because I am awesome. So once the yellows can break down this gate, we will be in good shape. And let's make sure, I think we've got so Brittany is on her way. We've got Charlie, who is at the 
other area. Let's make sure that this is where I wanted Charlie to go. I don't think that it is. That is fantastic. No, I wanted Charlie to actually go here. So it appears that Brittany is closer to that, but that's okay because I don't think Brittany has any winged Pikmin with her. So she doesn't. So we're being uh, very good. Yeah, that's the one thing that's a little tricky about this point is like I forget sometimes where on the map I need to be. I think Charlie has the yellows. Yes. I actually want Brittany to not go. No, no, Brittany, excuse you. Well, every, it appears that everybody is here except for the 10 reds that are currently busy carrying stuff. Okay. So anyway, we are, um, we're not being very efficient right now, which is unfortunate. We are going to want to head into here, but I need the wing Pikmin, 10 of them, and the yellows right here. The remaining yellows, because we don't need anything else. And Brittany, to take them. And I want Brittany, with her new squad, to go to... Where is it? This area. Okay, here we go. Finally. Now we're cooking with gas. The reason for that is this area is... We've, we've already done the pulley puzzle from before. If you remember, this is where we collected the limes. Or the lime. It was not. There were not multiple limes. So we'll have them tear down that gate. And in the meantime, Charlie, Alf, and the dead fiery blowhogs, we can now enter this cave. There's a little bit of a metal grate that you can approach. And you can go however you want into this cave. This is actually just the, um, the back door because we love taking things from behind and sneaking in that back door. It's got a kind of cool little music here. And we have the winged Pikmin. So we will send Alf. And we will charge the winged Pikmin. And they will not stay with him because they are awesome. Thank you, winged Pikmin. We will throw them instead. It would be really nice if they would just instinctively go for the grapes, but they will not because they are ding-dongs. So instead, Alf will charge them. We will come over here. We will weigh this down. We'll throw a couple of blue Pikmin over there and we'll get Alf back to soap. No, we will not. Alf will fall off of the sardine can in the moment and ruin our progress. Great job, Alf. But he can just walk across. So we'll have him go and collect these blue Pikmin. The blue Pikmin are going to be very useful here in a moment. We actually need them exclusively for what we're about to do. I mean, I well, I guess I shouldn't say exclusively. You can, once again, do this however you want to, but it's just my preference. Push this big sack out of the way. We've got a big blue sack. Push it out of the way. Recollect your blue Pikmin. And we will get ourselves into a bit of a skirmish here with the now officially named Bug-Eyed Cromad. Totally forgot what it was called multiple times because I'm a ding-dong. But first, before you do this fight, you're going to want to take out its, its homeboys. Homeboys make some noise, so we'll take those out. Done. Easy. Okay. And then, once those are out of the way, we're going to want to whistle our Pikmin out of the way. Because it it's going to be coming in hot. It's gonna be, it's mad. We just took out its, its squad. So, first things first, if you remember, same recipe as before. Attack its eyeballs. Whistle your Pikmin quickly, throw them quickly, get them on that eye. It's gonna knock you out of the way. But whistle your Pikmin as it flails. It looks kind of helpless and sad, but, you know. If you're allergic to shellfish, maybe you feel like this is kind of like just desserts. Like, ha ha ha. Are you allergic to dying? So anyway, we'll uh, come over here and attack its eyeballs again. You can throw them like, in between, and it kind of it kind of gets both eyeballs going. So you can do kind of good damage like that. Yeah, there you go. And then you can attack its its soft underbelly for massive damage. I'm not quite landing as many Pikmin on its stomach as I'd like. You can two cycle this boss if you're not stupid like me, you know. But anyway, so just go for the eyeballs again. If you kind of aim them in between in the middle, then you can get both at the same time. And it does save you time, because you'll do a little bit of damage to the left, a little bit of the damage to the right, and in the process, you'll have hopefully gotten enough damage on both to... Oh, this is going to be a four cycle, so that's... Oof. It's not very good for my speed running. oh no. Okay, so it decided to show us its butt this time, that's okay. Just going to keep throwing our Pikmin kind of in the middle of the area, trying to get it going. Hopefully that'll be enough to... No, stun it. It is enough to stun it. Great. 
Number one stunner, that's us. All right, so that is that. Now let's quickly go and charge our Pikmin at their, all the things that we can get, our spoils of war here. We got two pieces of a star fruit. We have the Cromad's gross lobster tail. Ugh. Not really a big fan of seafood, so I apologize for those of you who love it, because it's just not, it's not my thing. It just kind of tastes like squishy, salty garbage. But hey, if you're into that, then you're into that, and I'm not going to stop you. So in the meantime, we're going to send Charlie and we're going to send Alf back to the Drake to recalibrate, which is very good. And now we're waiting for that. We'll get a message from Captain Olimar with the three of us. Quite the discovery. If only I had a little more help other than Louis to get this mechanism going. It kind of seems like Captain Olimar constantly is trying to dunk on Louis. He's like lazy. He's calling him fat. I really wish the boss would answer us. Just because he's the president of Hokotate Freight doesn't mean he can just be on vacation all the time. Or is that exactly what it means, Captain Olimar? Captain Olimar casually dunking on capitalism, my guy. So there's like a big pulley puzzle that you can do here with sending your Pikmin and your captains and all that on the pulleys and the bricks and the wooden pops. You can do that if you want to, but I think that that's a waste of time. So instead, I'm just going to send my pinks. They will carry that new fruit, which I don't believe we've ever had before, which is interesting. And with some of our remaining blues, we'll take the, uh, we'll try to charge Charlie. That does not work. We will instead charge the fire blowhogs corpses and we will take them back to the Drake. We might as well. So we're in good shape. And there's Brittany heading along. Yes. So we are kind of ahead of schedule here. We will have that one fruit being carried by the winged Pikmin here in just a moment. That'll be making its way. We'll have Brittany put away the yellows. We're not going to need them. Instead, we'll replace the yellows with rocks for what we're about to do. And we will have all kinds of Pikmin being populated by what we're doing. The red Pikmin are going to be awesome because of the spicy spray that they're going to be helping us with. So that should do it. And we're going to need the winged Pikmin to come back. So hopefully they are en route. Wherever they are, where are they coming from? There they are. They're almost here. So in the meantime, I will send Charlie and Charlie will go and collect the red Pikmin. They're still out there getting our spicy spray, which is very nice of them, but we don't really need any more than what we have. So three should be pretty good. And they have to wait for it. That's kind of the downside is they wait for it. So until the we'll let these guys, you know, carry the last little bit. But once this is done, this is going to be the last I'll have them do of it. Because I think that this should give me enough for a full, another full spray. So other than that, these guys will come with me. We'll head, them, head back to the Drake and we'll cut off the other ones along the way. All right, so four of the five fruits that I promised are done and done. We're going to swap out the red Pikmin for winged Pikmin. As these guys try to go back, very good. So the winged Pikmin will be here. Having all three of your captains for this upcoming fight is super useful, so if you can manage that, I would do it. I think 17 winged Pikmin, that doesn't feel right, but let's just see kind of what our loadout is. Oh, it's because I still have some reds. Oops. So we'll do this. 15, 20, and 45 seems pretty good. That should be a hundo. All right, so we got 100, and we can head back to the area that, now that we finally built this bridge, we'll zoom out and... You can see that the, you know, the big signal that we're trying to go is, is from completing that blue bridge. So completing the, completing the blue bridge, that's like a tongue twister for me. Completing the blue bridge will allow us to enter a very dangerous area. So we're going to try to do this the right way as opposed to the wrong way. Although at DMIC Industries, we are nonplussed about, we're just always willing to try. So first things first, go ahead and send one of your captains off to the side and give them your wing to pick them. We don't need them just yet, so we'll send them that way. And then we will have Charlie read a data file about our boss here. So I don't know if we were supposed to actually have seen this, but you know, 
send your rock pikmin to start the boss battle this is how you do it is gonna break open this gross yeah this thing's nasty this is probably the most intimidating boss i would say in pikmin 3 i don't know if i'd say it's the toughest boss i mean it's pretty tricky and i think it auto swarms your pikmin so that's annoying but this is okay yeah great awesome so we had everything sorted out. If you go into this little staging area at the beginning, you're safe. So we'll uh, send Brittany out there and then we will charge the pinks who will come right back to us because we're dumb. Okay, that's fine. So we will spread everybody out. And we just want the blues for now. This thing is really annoying and you have to be very careful because it will try to squish your Pikmin. So first things first is you have to attack its feet. And it hates you for doing that. It hates you attacking its feet. So now, with your rock Pikmin, you can attack its weird skull thing with the, the crystal? I don't know. But when it starts to do this weird little like slurping thing, get your get your Pikmin out of the way. Because it's coming in hot. And all my Pikmin, my blue ones, are trapped here on the <laughs> trapped here on the on the rocks. This is excellent. I can't do anything about it, so. You just got to watch out for the uh Oh boy, it's getting up. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's getting up from its nap. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I want all of our Pikmin to get whistled in because those puddles down there by its feet are dangerous. I can't do anything with my blues until it moves out of the way, so I've lost three of my blues so far to geometry. Thanks, math. Okay. So. Oh. You'll, you'll want to use blues primarily for this because the blues. Um, I'm having trouble paying attention to what I'm doing. They won't drown. So it's going to create little puddles. And as long as you're not putting your blues in the in harm's way. Okay, so we got the rocks now. We're going to make sure we don't step in a puddle. And you have to be very careful of this because once it starts to open its gross mouth, then things become bad. But we've broken the crystal. We've opened up its nasty mouth. Yeah, this is gross. It's nasty mouth. I don't know where the rest of my Pikmin are. This is awesome. It's the same kind of same deal, you know. Um, 20 of my Pikmin are missing, apparently. We'll check out what this data file says. So let's just read a casual data file in the middle of this boss fight. Curse that Hokotate ship. It may once have been a top of the line vessel, but now it's an insult to my piloting. I can't wait to pay off that debt and get back to my beloved SS Dolphin. But that means I need to find something really valuable before I return home, Captain Elmar. I wonder if that really valuable thing is the thing we're doing right now. So yeah, I think, I don't know where my Pikmin went, but we'll read this final data file. Yeah. So it's just telling you to attack its feet. I have no idea where the final 20 of my Pikmin went, but we should have enough time to finish this fight. Just make sure you're only using your, your blues because the blues are the ones that will not suffer from the puddles that it, it makes. So yeah. Okay, so now we can switch to the pink Pikmin. We'll juice them up, and we will use them to attack its weird, bulbous, gross, nasty, ugh. But once it starts to get its mouth going, get out of there. Just get the heck out of there. Oh, we might have just had one of our Pikmin get eaten. But yeah, you can, uh, you can charge your Pikmin. Try to attack, but you, once it gets up, you just gotta get the H out of there. Get out of there. Come on, Pikmins. Yes, all right. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. There we go. One of our Pikmin might have... Oh, no, he's there. We're gonna save him. Okay. Whew. Yeah, this fight is... It's definitely intimidating. It's probably... It's definitely one of the toughest of the fights in the game, I would say, just based on what you're asked, being asked to do. It's got like phases to oh okay well apparently two of our pikmin got crushed by that that's not cool okay so we're gonna juice up our pikmin send our pink pikmin up there i don't know if anybody else can attack the bull but it does take a bit we got to get out of there because it's gonna try to eat us yeah it's gonna use its nasty huge tongue Ugh. it's just real gross all right put your tongue back in your face you dummy oh no oh no all right, that was bad. All right, well, that did eat a bunch of our Pikmin, but it is what it is. Yeah, you gotta be patient. I was being a little impatient, that was my fault. 
this fight is not an expert fight by any means, but we'll be doing okay. Let's keep going for its feet. You attack its feet enough, it'll get real upset. So hopefully we can finish this fight. Okay. And we will use the spicy spray that our reds were so kind to get for us. Hopefully we can one cycle this or two cycle it. We gotta get back here because it's gonna open its gross mouth. Mm -hmm. Nasty. You just you just got it's just nasty. It's I don't even know what that's supposed to be, but it's real gross and I hate it. So the pink should be able to finish it off here. Yes! The Meyer Clops is done. Ugh, it's so gross. And its head explodes and gives us whatever that is. And another fruit with Captain Olimar? Well, would you look at that? He's not going to get away with this. And there's the ship. So that must be where he was trying to get after all. That's very strange. He thought he was getting away, but... Mm -mm. And while we're still high, we're going to go over and investigate. Take everything back to the Drake. Okay. So we got to be quick here. Use all kinds of Pikmin to... We're just trying to... We gotta move quick, so we'll carry back the fruit thief here. Hopefully we'll have enough time to make it. We should. And we'll check our map to see exactly what Pikmin are remaining. I know that it said that we were missing some, but I don't quite remember where. Oh, it was the, the pinks over here. Okay, so we'll send Alf on a little scavenging hunt. Scavenging hunt, scavenger hunt to this far cave. Hopefully we should make it in time. Charlie will make sure that there are no stragglers left behind. We have some of a, excuse you, excuse you. Charlie is autonomous. He will do what he wants. He's not need you to tell him what to do game. Okay. Yeah, that fight was pretty intense, but hey, we were able to knock all this out in one episode. So that's good. And sometimes you have to be careful with Pikmin because they'll get stuck on those areas like that where you really don't have any ability to move. It just kind of like says, okay, well, you know, you're here now. And if you transition between one area to the next, you'll just be stuck. You know, you'll just be, you know, sorry out of luck. So I'm gonna try to get as many Pikmin on these things to be carried at a time. I really need to speed this up because we're gonna hit the timer soon. But we're almost at the Drake, yeah. Okay, and Alf has arrived, so he can whistle the pink Pikmin. So, we will continue to hurry up. And we will analyze this item with the Drake, the Drake's analyzer. And it's gonna call Charlie. So it appears we've got... the Fruit Thief. Captain Olimar, the little jerk, trying to take our stuff. He's a food thief, sorry, specifically food thief. Still currently in sleep mode because of his suit. So we'll have to interrogate him and his thievery, stealing our 43 day supply of juice and one soft vinyl toy suitable for a toddler. That's the rubber duck. So yeah. Charlie is ready. He's he's practicing being a PI in his in his spare time. What a guy. So we've got all five fruit. We, we recovered all the stuff I believe that was left over. Let's check the copad one last time real quick. Yeah, it appears that everything needed to be recovered was recovered. I think the gross part of the of the Myerclops helped us to produce some Pikmin that we lost in the in the crazy battle we had with it. So that should be good. We're not missing anybody. And we got all the fruits, so the Garden of Hope is done. This has been probably the best episode, maybe, so far. <laughs> and we are going to take off with the thief in tow. And we've got some questions for him. He's not going to get away with this. No, sir. Not on our watch. Especially not on Brittany's watch. Brittany would probably be the most intense of all. I'd be afraid of her. 
So that was day 20. And we got two new fruit. And we recovered all of the previous food buffer. So our seven before with the 43 of last time gives us 50, not counting what we're about to fill up right now. So that was a plum. Very nice. We also were able to snatch up some red, black grapes. It'd be really horrible if the game decided to have each of those individual grapes be like a new fruit and have you juice them independently. I would be pretty annoyed. We've got the star fruit, if you couldn't have already guessed. That's very nice. I still don't understand why things like kiwi and star fruit are juiced in halves. I just... Maybe it's because they look cooler? Like, I guess... You know, when you look, when you think of a kiwi, you think of like kind of the cool patterns of, of seeds on the inside with like the green, just a kiwi on the outside looks like kind of like a big old butt. So you don't want that. This is the astringent clump. For those of you unaware, this is a grapefruit. Grapefruit are actually kind of interesting because they can all, they can kind of cause certain types of health problems with conflicting with medications and certain things and making them like not as potent as they're supposed to be. So grapefruits are kind of jerks. They're kind of the, ju the jerks of the fruit world. And the wayward moon, this, my friends, is the cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, pretty popular. It's orange, kind of weird taste. I don't know why when they're juicing it, it's like a yellow color. Or cantaloupe is clearly orange. Um, and then it's parallel fruit, the honeydew, which is green. So maybe they got, maybe this is supposed to be a honeydew. I don't know if that, if that's the case. Yeah, I think cantaloupe are actually smooth. Maybe honeydew is the other one. I don't know, but honeydew or orange can, honeydew or green, sorry, cantaloupe or orange. So yeah, but we got nine days worth of juice out of that, which is awesome. So whew, what a day. We'll have 58 days of juice left after consuming that one. And you know, we'll have plenty to bring back to Kopai and save the Kopai eats. So, had some uh, some casualties in the fight today, but we also propagated a good amount of Pikmin, and we require we required all that, all those five fruits, and we snatched up the food thief. So, beat a boss. That's a pretty effective day. Let's hear a message from Alf. Day twenty. We managed to capture the thief Olimar, the Hokotation who had been eluding us. We retrieved our stolen food supplies, but boy, was pretty upset, and rightly so. After we all calmed down a bit, I started thinking that there's something fishy going on here. We need to get to the bottom of things. Signed, Alf. Okay. So the Garden of Hope is complete. We'll see what, uh... Thank you, game. We'll see what that food thief is up to next time. So our save screen is abound, and we are out of here. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 3 Deluxe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!